I just finished teaching two classes here at Vixen Fitness and I'm going to get some work done because I have to stay here. I have uh, another class to teach later on in the evening and since I'm about 45 to 50 minutes away from home, this is why I meal prep. Um, there is no excuse for it. If you know you are a busy person, prepping your meals is good for you. It helps you to stay on track. It's a form of planning. And like I just said, it helps you to stay on track. So the meals that I prepped from the last video, yeah, I believe, because I'm vlogging like every day almost. And this is the sweet potato. I have broccoli and I have chicken. So I'm gonna eat this. <laughs> and get some work, as much work as I can done before my next pole class or pole party. So I'm still at the studio and I just finished up editing a couple of videos because that's what I do <laughs> is finishing up some videos. So it's going to be time for me to eat again soon so what I'm going to do is eat my next meal actually after this uh, next class or party that I'm about to do but I am about to dip out real quick and I'm about to get some snacks and I'm about to show you guys exactly what snacks I eat the most what I've been eating <laughs> what snacks I've been eating the most recently um, yes they're not so healthy yes I can do it <laughs> if I want to um, I'm at that point where I can. So, but, um, yeah, I wanted to show you guys anyway. So, I'm going to show you. <laughs> Gloves. <laughs> 
So, my usuals. I've mentioned in a video so long ago that these are my kryptonite. <laughs> these are the dynamite, what is it, the dynamita Doritos. They're the chili lime. I will eat an entire bag of these. At most grocery stores, they have a bag much larger than this, and I think those bags are like close to 480 calories or something. This one is only 140 calories per serving. <laughs> so, per serving means, on the back, it says that it has about 4.5 um, servings in this one bag. 4.5 which means pretty much like four servings. Or when you're eating once, that's the serving. That's the serving, and it would be 140 calories. So multiply 140 calories times 4.5. Yeah. But imagine me having a much larger bag, which is like four... Probably like if you want to say 140 calories, it might be a little bit more. I think I noticed that they say like 220 or 280 per serving. And if you eat the whole bag, I think the whole bag is almost like six to eight servings. It's whatever. These are my favorite. And I always top it off. I'm one of those people who like salty and sweet together. And so I always have an almond uh, bar, Snickers bar. And I have the larger ones because it comes in two. And I'll have one, and then I'll have the other one a little bit later. I don't tend to eat the whole thing in one sitting. But these I do, so I'm very picky as to what size of the bag that I get. So I got my snacks, so I'm going to eat those before my class, my party begins. And then I'm going to eat my second meal of the day. And I think I'm pretty much good. I think. <laughs> <laughs> this is what they look like like they're one Dorito like rolled up into little like fries so good so good hmm. so I made it home about an hour later I decide I'm going to go ahead and eat my last meal. <laughs> so I didn't want to eat it on the road. And to be honest, I wasn't hungry like I am now. <laughs> I'm hungry now. So I'm going to sit down, watch some Netflix, edit some more videos, and call it a night. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Um, came home, took me about 40 minutes, like I mentioned. And I ended up getting some shoes that I was looking at at Target. So, show you that in my beauty channel. But, yeah, didn't want to eat my food on the road because it was raining and snowing at the same time. And I wasn't hungry, so I'm hungry now. So, I'm going to eat my last meal. So, my last meal is in this uh, container. And... You saw me recently. This is just my protein powder. I have my protein powder in this little thing right here. And like the little shaker thingy is in there. And then I had some uh, avocado in here, which I'm not going to eat that. I'm going to eat that tomorrow. So I'm going to hurry up and put this in the refrigerator and savor it for tomorrow's breakfast. It's already uh, nice. And then... This is the meal I ate earlier today, and then here is the other one. So I think I only have one, one meal left from my meal prep. Let's check and see. Yep, I only got one. So that means I'm going to have to do another meal prep tomorrow. Tomorrow's Sunday. So I might as well go ahead and take this out, let it thaw out. And I could show you guys how I'm prepping my meals for the next couple of days. So, if you don't meal prep, you are planning to fail. 
especially if you are a busy person. However, that does not mean you're not going to enjoy what I call cheat items in some areas. I'm only able to do that now because I've lost so much weight and I already have a lifestyle that um, is kind of ingrained in me from, to be honest, forcing myself and constantly planning by meal prep to eat a certain way. I eat clean 95% of the time, almost 100% of the time if it is for a competition. 85% of the time is not a bad idea. Try it, try it, try it. But it's easier to eat 85% clean, 95% clean if you plan it out. And then you become habitual with the way that you eat. It's okay to eat the same things every day. Do not get all caught up in thinking that you need variety. When I mean thinking you need variety, like you think you need things that are just so all off base that, I don't know, fruits, vegetables, and protein, lean, you know, meats, if you eat meat, you're going to eat the same thing anyway. I've said this before, those of you who don't eat well at all anyway, do not have variety in your diet. You eat the same number two, number three, number four, whatever meal it is from whatever fast food restaurant that you go to. Or even if you go to a place where it's just a restaurant, a sit-in restaurant, you tend to eat the same stuff. So it's not about variety, it's about taste. You want a variety of taste. So that's where it comes in and learning how to cook your foods. Cook your food. It's okay. All the oils that you like, you know, cook your foods in oils except for canola oil and vegetable oil. Keep keep those out out of your <laughs> your cooking regimen um oh don't fry if you if you like to fry things coconut oil is a great you know oil to use to fry chicken or whatever you want to fry even if it's french fries but preferably they're potatoes that you've cut up but they do have at grocery stores where these foods are available in the frozen section and that's exactly what the ingredients say that they're potatoes in their french fries so just be mindful of that but again i'm going to tell you in order to have this habit of eating a certain way so that you can lose weight or or even if it's not that just to feel better about how your eating habits are meal prep especially if you're a busy person make it your most important thing to do find the time make the time don't expect for it to pop up make it happen so I guess that's all I'm going to say. I'm going to close this vlog out. I'm going to go ahead and eat my food and enjoy my Netflix and finish some more videos for you guys. I love you and I'll see you guys in the next video. I just realized I just recorded this entire vlog on this little baby camera, my Polaroid Cube. It gave me problems before, but guess it was happy with me today. <laughs> All right, so here's how to join the 21 day challenge. You just go to the 21 day challenge tab. It gives you all the information you need to do to join. You'll go to classes and you will join that. You can pick any day between December 5th and the 24th. Keep in mind, everything starts on December the 4th. So pick a day join enter your information in and you would be all set be sure to check your email for further instructions